Hi there, welcome to episode 33 of the Songwriters Chord Club. Today I'm going to show you this G chord. Okay, and it really starts with a G major chord, a G major bar chord, like this. But you're only taking the middle four notes. So get rid of your low string and the high string, and fret it like this. And an important thing here is to mute the low E string. I usually use my thumb over the neck. You just need just a little bit touching your string there. If that's too much of a stretch for you, just aim well and try to mute the low E string. You don't want the low E string to ring out. Just on the middle strings. At the same time, I'm also muting the high E string. So it's a good challenge in muting. And the useful thing about this chord, it's really easy to get a nice heavy rock attack out of it and combine it with muting. If I'm pressing down the strings and bring them up just enough to stop the mute, you can really get a nice rhythm out of it. Like that, it's really useful. I just think, it, think it's really useful if you're doing something like sliding into a chord. I find it a little easier than a big bar chord. Like that, this is much easier to move around. So I think it's a pretty nice thing to be able to vary with maybe an open G. You have a rhythmic song like this, try throwing this in a verse. Instead of this. I use it all the time, especially for the rhythmic potential in it. And it is, again, a good exercise for string muting, because you have to mute the E strings on it. Either avoid them or just mute them entirely. I think it's best to mute them so you can really get this nice rhythmic attack out of it. I hope it's useful to you. Please let me know any comments or questions. Don't forget to subscribe, and thanks for watching.